Hello Year 9s, uh, welcome to the first trigonometry video. Now I'm using my graphics tablet for the first time so you'll have to excuse me if I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm really messy, okay? So we are going to look at trigonometry, okay? Wow, terribly messy writing, <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with the basics, we're going to start with how to label a triangle. So remember there are three different sides, there is the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, there is the opposite. Wow, my writing really is truly terrible on this. Sorry. And the adjacent, which a lot of people are having trouble saying. Adjacent. It's just what it looks like, really. Okay, so those are the three things that we're going to label, okay? So let's start with an example. Now, remember, when we're talking about trigonometry, um, when we're talking about Sokotoa, we're always talking about right-angled triangles, okay? Always right angle triangles. So how do we know which side is which? Well, this one is the hypotenuse. Hopefully you remember this bit so far. It's always opposite the right angle and it's always the longest side. That's how we know which one the hypotenuse is. Then all we have to discover is which one is opposite and which one is adjacent. Now we can't really tell because there's no angle. So what we'll do, oh, sorry. So what there is, we'll put in an angle and Unsurprisingly, the one opposite the angle is the opposite. Okay, so we see where the angle is, we figure out which side is opposite, and that's the opposite. And the leftover one must be the adjacent. Adjacent just means next to, so this one's next to the angle, okay? Now what if we drew it slightly differently? Let's have another go at that, okay? So if we drew the angle down here, this is still the hypotenuse because it's still opposite the right angle, it's still the longer side. But this time, this side is opposite the angle, so this would be... Oh, why did I do that? Undo, undo. Okay, this one would be the opposite, because it's opposite. And this time, this one is the adjacent, because it's next to the angle, okay? So they are the two ways that you can label triangles. You just need to figure out where the angle is and which one is opposite, all right? So this is the important part. If you label your triangle wrong in the first place, you will end up with totally the wrong answers, okay? You must make sure you label your triangle correctly before you do any of your maths. And also remember this little sign. Remember I said that was theta. It really, that's just a way that we talk about an unknown angle. So instead of X or Y or Z or something, if it's an angle, we usually use theta. It's just a Greek letter. Okay. So hopefully that is enough information to help you label a triangle.